Okay, so we're, we're live. And, um, okay, so how to do feel the feelings. So, feel the feelings, it's not really feel the feelings, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a process to uh, release everything, every, uh, everything that's being held within the ego. So, uh, it's just a name, but actually it's beyond feel the feelings. So, how do you do it? So, you just sit down, uh, often you, you may or may not close your eyes, but it's to release everything that's being held in. If you do this, if you keep doing this, it will take you to enlightenment. It will take you to there's nothing held within the consciousness. So you just become aware of, you could say what, what we're doing is we're allowing anything that is limited to be fully allowed and experienced. By allowing something and welcoming it in consciousness, then um, it starts to dissolve and then it finally disappears, it goes away. You see, so the nature of the ego is to repress, is to suppress. Uh, when uh, so, um, the ego you could say the ego is the resistance to love. So, uh, so when anything is not allowed to be in consciousness, then it stays there. So how how does one repress or keep within. Um, so these energies, you can call these energies or vibrations within, uh, that are held within the ego. So let's say, for example, whatever, now things that can be experienced might be like tiredness, it might be pain, it might be anger, um, it might be any of these sensations. So Let's say that there is uh, pain, in, there could be, for example, pain in the abdomen, or there could be uh, a feeling of anger in the head area, or there could be a feeling of tiredness in the body. So normally, one of the things that stops these things from being experienced and released is a lot of thinking. So you have to, so you, you become aware of what's being experienced and you let go of the thinking at the same time. So how do you do this? Let's take, for example, there was pain in the abdomen. Or it could easily be something else like anger in the head, or it could be tiredness, but it doesn't really matter what it is. But let's say there was pain in the abdomen as an example. So what you do, you stop trying to think about it. You know, stop trying to make a story. I've got a pain in the abdomen. Stop trying to label, don't even label it. Like pain is a word. You don't have to call it anything. Even like pain in the ab abdomen. The abdomen is a word, forget that or in a location is a word. So forget trying to make a story and just allow that experience to be fully experienced and allowed because often when there's an experience um, the ego doesn't want to feel it. The ego doesn't want to fully experience it and fully allow it 100% in consciousness. So fully allow it and just let it be there and if, if, the, if, you, if the attention goes to the thinking just detach from the thoughts and just be with the energy of that. Uh, it's not a pain anymore, it's just a vibration or a feeling. So, and then you're with the feeling, allow, allow it to be fully experienced. Don't try and push it down or repress it or not feel it. And if you suddenly go back into the thinking or a story, just detach from the story and just allow it. So you just be with that. And if you, as you allow the, these energies to be there, fully there and then detach from any thoughts, if you go into the thoughts, these energies will start to dissolve and evaporate away. If an energy fully evaporates, you might become aware of something else, like you might be aware of tiredness or you might be aware of anger, um, then you just allow those exp energies to be felt. And as you allow this, you're releasing all these energies and these vibrations that are, that are held within. Okay.